Oh, you guys are going to enjoy this. You're going to enjoy it a lot. I'm serious. This is really, really good. Good for transparency, not good for the world, just to be clear. I have a few little recordings of a certain former Deputy Premier of New South Wales. Any guesses as to who that would be? Yep, Sir Michael Bruxter, Deputy Premier from the 1930s. Now let me just pull out this wax cylinder to get it going. In about 90 years, you should wait for the intro of this specific Geordies video released on the 10th of March, 2023. Geordies has another recording of a different Deputy Premier he wants to show you. You're really going to enjoy it. Yes, it's the fat greaseball himself, Mr. John Barillaro. Oh, Sir Michael, greaseball. I didn't expect such hateful language against my people from you. Sorry, Geordies, I didn't realize the world got so fucking woke. Ooh, your words, Sir Michael, not mine. Hang on, I thought you were a wax cylinder recording. Nope, I'm just a bit. Padding a Geordies video that's about to play a bombshell recording set to shake up the imminent state election. Yeah, so the actual recording I have is of John Barillaro, but before I play it, uh, let me just give you some of everyone's least favourite thing, context. Pork barrelling is the practice of diverting taxpayer money to projects or initiatives designed specifically to win electorates that are key to winning elections, and in effect, withholding money from just as important initiatives that do not benefit you electorally. It is a massive problem with the Liberal and National parties, spending billions of dollars of taxpayer money on projects that don't stack up and depriving desperate and deserving regions of funding. Scandal after scandal, pretty much anywhere it was possible, pork barrelling was happening. The New South Wales Independent Commission Against Corruption recently found that it could constitute a form of corruption. I did a whole video examining the question of, is pork barrelling corrupt? But if you don't want to watch it, I'll sum it up right now. <clears throat> yes, yes it is. ICAC says so. Former Deputy Premier John Barillaro had a reputation for pork barrelling pork barrelling, eye-watering amounts of taxpayer funds in his efforts to win elections, even going as far as to pork barrel bushfire recovery grants, earning the nickname Pork Barrelaro, a nickname that he himself used. In his defamation lawsuit against me, that was actually one of the things that I was sued by him for saying. I said that John calling himself Pork Barrelaro was akin to him wearing his corruption as a badge of honour. His barrister, Sue Chrysanthu, took great issue with that characterization, making the argument that I was deliberately taking out of context John's adoption of that nickname. Quote, he's mocking the label because he has been wrongly labeled as pork barreling when all he is doing is helping the regions that he represents. It's, again, to anyone who reads this article, completely different to how it's portrayed and described by Mr. Shanks. Where's his corruption as a badge of honor? That's what Mr. Shanks said about Call me Pork Barillaro, and that is plainly not the context of that quote. Okay, according to Sue, he wasn't electioneering, he was merely helping the regions that he represents. Let's play this recording taken well before John sued me and just before the Upper Hunter by-election, an election that Barillaro's National Party desperately needed to win. Keep his lawyer's quote in mind. Once they got the huge wall to see here before, it actually cut through that racism. Yeah, 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 exactly. Which, of course, which, which, of course, Andrew Fraser did, you know, nurture that racism. <laughs> Remember when the, what was it, uh, uh, migrants or immigrant, you know, right he was on like, kick him out, kick him out. <laughs> but, he, you know, if we, let's say worse than no, we miss out, I'll tell you what, there was nothing left. Yeah. There was nothing left on the field. That, that's all I want. But Honestly, I'll tell you what, I reckon I we'll get a swing to us and you yeah. know what, we're going to rub it in their salt and I can't wait to talk about Malcolm Turnbull a little bit on yeah. Yeah. If you allow me, if you allow me, you allow me on your night, you allow me on your night as you accept and, and, and are gracious, yeah. allow me not to be as gracious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Malcolm, I mean, it's very Malcolm Turnbull. Turnbull. Yeah. If, if, I would appreciate that if you give me that little, uh, little uh, privilege. Yeah, yeah exactly. After, yeah. We, I'm the one that's got to try and get to ERC and explain how I've given $100 million in the election. Yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. And that's just ticking over, there's still yeah, five yeah. days to go. Yep. Anything can happen. No, no, it can happen now. George put in that Singleton needs a new fire station, so I think we'll be funding that this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not only if you win the bypass, win. But tell him you won. Yeah. If you didn't win, tell him we don't have to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, Gladys did that somewhere, didn't she? Orange, yeah. orange. Yeah. Yeah. Back by it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not only is Singleton getting a bypass, 
Yeah, that's right. Coffs Harbour. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. I just went out and said, <laughs> we're announcing the additional, we're going to do tunnels, not the, what was it called, the open. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Open cut. And that would add, that, that's half a billion dollars <laughs> to the tab. And I so can't we're get doing it. tunnels. Just, I'm sending a check. And I and you know why I didn't mind that? You know why I didn't mind that? Because the state only had to come up with 20%. The others is, is oh, the feds. I get phone calls from, from Michael McCormick. I've got to go back to the ERC on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the good thing was, they were going to a federal election afterwards and they would have needed it anyway. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, saved exactly. their ass. Exactly. Well, you know what? As straight, with all the investment in infrastructure. I'm glad you call it an investment, not pork barrel. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do appreciate that. As, as of course, pork barrel are owed. Yeah. Unbelievable. We'll end up oh, I'm glad how the engineers overseas. Uh, I went there. And then it was like, okay, we're going to find $25 million. Siobhan, can you find $25 million? <laughs> and Paul Tool's office going, look at the kitchen country. No, just need a $25 million blanket check. Is it Paul? It's majority government. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey, Peritate, $25 million. Oh, well, well, I got you. $42 million for Musselbrook Hospital. <laughs> $11 million for Singleton. Siobhan, There's some little bloody rara fish at Cayuga or whatever. And then $650,000. <laughs> And oh my God! You. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? We'll get into Scone this week. We're going to give them some money for their roads, another twenty odd million dollars. So, you know what? Not done yet, then. Oh God, no! Uh, it's five days. It's five days left. <laughs> oh, there's some. I'm going to give the guy that you know the guy that runs Rock. This is like the Rock, twelve days of Christmas. Uh, Black Rock. <laughs> yeah, Black Rock. So the Aboriginal Land Council want to build yeah. this big facility. We're going to give them four million bucks too. Why not? Well, why not? Why, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? They are good. They are good. They are good. You can have it all in New South Wales. You can have it all. Yeah, exactly. How nice. Those really sound like the words of a man merely helping the regions he represents. They were going to a federal election afterwards and they would have needed it anyway. Yeah, so yeah, we saved their ass. Exactly. Exactly. You know what? As straight, with all the investment in infrastructure. I'm glad you call it an investment, not pork barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do appreciate that. As, as of course, pork barrel are owed. Ooh, better be careful not to take that out of context. After all, the judge, Justice Rares, appeared to agree with Barillaro's arguments and awarded Barillaro damages from Google based on my apparently defamatory claim that Barillaro calling himself Pork Barillaro was akin to him wearing his corruption as a badge of honour. Google's denial that the matters complained of conveyed the imputations which Mr Barillaro alleged was unjustifiable. Each imputation was as plain as day. Mr. Shanks repeatedly called Mr. Barillaro corrupt throughout the matters complained of. In the Bruzz video, he propounded that, for example, he wears his corruption as a badge of honour. I'm glad you call it an investment, not pork barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do appreciate that, as, as of course pork barrel are owed. I think it would be wise if someone referred this clip to the Independent Commission Against Corruption. Although Justice Rarys thought even daring to call out barrel are as pork barrelling was distressing enough to award the Deputy Premier hundreds of thousands of dollars, it might be good to get a second opinion. Pretty amazing to me that you could win a defamation suit over someone calling you out for pork barreling and at the same time boast about pork barreling and then deny you were boasting in the lawsuit. I guess you can have it all in New South Wales. You can have it all. You can have it all in New South Wales. You can have it all. Yeah, exactly. Paul Tool's office going, look at the kitchen country. No, just need a $25 million blanket check. Is it Paul? It's majority government. Okay. Yes, yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Twenty-five million. Oh, well, well, I got you. Forty-two million for Musselbrook Hospital. <laughs> Eleven million for Singleton. Sure, well, There's some little bloody rara fish at Cayuga or whatever. Then six hundred fifty thousand. <laughs>